The GoPro Mountain Games hosts over a dozen disciplines and 30 different competitions across the event, but this year they added something in the culinary realm. Joining me now, we have Thomas Salamunovich, and he's the owner and culinary director of Larkspur Restaurant, and you're going to be doing the Whole30 dinner. I am. Tell us about this. Okay. It's actually quite fun. So first I was paralyzed thinking, oh my gosh, I can't use any butter, cream, yeah, soy, it's really sugar. No dairy, no leg legumes, None of no the grains. Above. But then I kind of turned around and realized it was real creative culinary freedom. Yeah. And it's not far from my roots in classic French cuisine. I cooked in France for many years and I came up to chef school and there's so much that's appropriate. But so I decided to do a spin on it where we just take everything that's being produced and typically in people's homes yeah. and I mean, I maybe the right word is elevate it, but yeah. at least utilize ingredients that no one's really using. So there's foie gras, there's bone marrow, there's bone broths, there's kefir lime leaves, there's duck ten ways, there's beef carpaccio that's grass fed, there's shaved truffles, and everything works. And I didn't cheat one oh bit. Oh my gosh! I didn't even use Dijon mustard with a little bit of wine. So there's no wine. Now okay. there was the hard part in the yeah, because no alcohol one. with the yeah, whole thirty. You got it. Okay. So we're using vinegars. All right, and you had a lot of, uh, you did some stuff, the watermelon too. So. Yeah, you saw some compressed yeah. watermelon back there. We're <laughs> doing that for dessert, but uh, our pastry chef is just, uh, Rachel has done an incredible job. You talk about a tough gig. She's up there without a net trying to make dessert with no sugar. Oh my, So that's she's amazing. killed it with coconut and dates, and she made these chocolate truffles that I have been keep stealing when she's not okay. looking, and uh, about four or five different things, and there'll be an interactive dessert station, and it's a very kind of theatrical performance besides just the food we wanted to give it a higher level of ambiance so it's actually family style while being very elegant almost butler service so it's, it's like a juxtaposition of a whole bunch of different yeah, things yeah and i understand but fun is the only thing that matters yeah and i understand melissa hartwig is going to be here and she's yes. the co-founder of the whole whole 30 she's movement the one i've had i have yet to physically meet her but we've had great correspondence through emails and she seems super fun and she's the one who got on me now the mustard can't have wine in it and i immediately <laughs> went and looked and our mustard had wine so we got rid of that and got okay. something new. So she is a pro and I'm looking forward to All working right. with her and, and you speaking did, with her. And you did the whole 30 yourself. I've been yourself. doing it here for an extended period of time with one little cheat, but I've been okay. doing it and it's it's really good. The problem with the darn thing is you really have to cook. Yeah. So I, I, I do that for a living. So I kind of wonder how the heck do people do this who don't do it for a living? Because yeah. you have to cook. Okay. And you have to cook a lot. So the key is leftovers, and but it's a great way to eat. I have felt fabulous. There's just none of those food comas from mm -hmm. sugar. Oh, I have I energy. I don't have cravings. It's, she's the real deal, and she found something that makes a lot of sense. Okay. Well, I can imagine it's going to be delicious. Uh, Lark's for always, always going the extra mile. And what a cool event to add to the GoPro Mountain Games.